There is a fucking Ronnie McNutt Friday Night Funkin'. Who made this shit? This is by far going to be the sickest video I've ever made in my channel's history. So bring your balls. I'm being dead serious. Bring your balls. Put the food to the side. Put the water to the side. And put your chest out. Because right here is going to be absolutely insane. You know how there's gore readily available on YouTube? What if I told you there was a YouTube channel that has every single infamous gore video in 4K quality? I'm talking about Funky Town Gore, Guerrero Flaying, all of them. Every single last one of them readily available on YouTube. I am not joking. Check this out. So here you can see uh, my entire background. I'm going to put myself inside this corner over here. Uh, yeah, I got Toonami and, and fucking Walking Dead stuff. I like Walking Dead. I like Toonami. You know, go figure. Check this out. You go on Gore Animate. That's what you want to type in. And you get this infamous channel right here. Look at this guy. Uh, I make gore animations with the help of this garbage ass at blah blah blah. I don't give a fuck. He's from Yapsville, Missouri, and I don't live there. That's not my residency. And what he's decided to do is he uploaded every single infamous gore video you've ever seen. Every single last one of them. I mean, he has, uh, if we scroll down, Ronnie McNutt. He has a video 1114. <laughs> He has Funky Town Gore over here. Look look at the quality. These are absolutely insane people. He has uh, One Man Two Spawns. Look at this shit. Terror Ristis. Robber Budwire. Machete Killing. One Man One Hammer. Alright, all jokes aside people. Oh look, he has Funky Town Gore 2.0 with almost half a million views. But all jokes aside, I, I don't know what the fuck this is. This is an actual trend. I've been seeing this everywhere. I see it on Tiki Taki and I've been seeing it on Twitter. Where people are grabbing infamous score videos and they're using Roblox and like other programs and shit to like orchestrate and make them and remake them. I, I don't know what the fuck this is. This guy has like some stick figure shit, which no offense to the creator over here. It's fucking horrible. Like if I was your dad, this shit ain't going up on the fridge. It's going in the fucking trash. Absolute fucking trash. No offense. Uh, yeah, all offense. Yeah, this shit. This is not fridge worthy. This is fucking awful. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to watch some of these awful, awful gore videos. And uh, we're going to review them. So right here we got El Patron. What the fuck is... Uh, like, I've skimmed through these. But it's only three seconds and... Uh, there you go. It's El Patron. El Patron. And he just shoots them. That's it. Like, what the fuck was that? Oh, look. I'm getting recommended my own video. That's sweet. I, I don't get these. Right? Now here we're going to watch another one. Uh, Quiero Agua. Which is pretty much, yeah, I need water. So how the fuck does he know the exact translation of Quiero Agua? Yet, this guy sucks at fucking English, and he's from Russia. So you got a Russian who sucks at English, but is good at Spanish. Get that one around your fucking head. And uh, over here, you got a guy with, uh, that's tomato sauce. He's covered in tomato sauce. And you got Jason Voorhees over here, who just put his entire hand through his fucking leg and bonked him like a whack-a-mole. Put his head up. He doesn't like tomato sauce. That's why he has coconut on his face. And that's the video. Yeah, it's the video. Absolutely brutal content over here. All right, so right here we have Funky Town Gore 2.0. This is the second Funky Town Gore. In case you missed the fucking first one, here's the second one. So it was so infamous that he had to remake the entire fucking video. This guy's insane. We have everything. We got the knife. You got the sickle. You have the staff. Oh, You have my fucking burp. Take that shit with you. And just look at the quality, man. I mean, this quality just can't be mad. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, listen here. You got stick figures. You can't even be fucked. Like, look at that. Look at that little gray spot right there. I'm sorry. I know I'm nitpicking. But you can't draw a fucking stick figure? Like, how? It can't be that fucking hard. Look. It's not even fully colored. I. Uh, it's not even. Why is his face, like, protruding out of his fucking body and his mask? Like, he's about to blow up. And you can't even see the other people that were killing him. So how does he know this guy's haircut? And he knows, what is that on his fucking face? I'm sorry. I, I hate to be that guy. I got a lot of questions here. What a weird tone of blue to pick too. Alright, so pretty much this is supposed to be describing how the guy had no hands and shit. Like waka flaka. And yeah, he gets stabbed in the fucking face by this guy. And then they grab a sickle. Um, it, it doesn't look like this at all. I mean, this is like um, a very, 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 very poor rendition as you could fucking assume. And, um, again, this would be like fucking, 
Disney Channel gore in a sense right here. And he grabs his fucking staff and just shoves it in his face. Yeah, that does happen. And bang, look at that. It's so fucking brutal. This is brutal. My question is this much, right? You see, look right here. Look, gore box. Funky Town. What the fuck is this? See, what the fuck is this shit? Let me turn it down because I know it's going to play the Funky Town gore music. It might possibly. It probably is playing Funky Town, but... Like, what is this shit? You see what I'm saying? This is what people fucking do. They, like, remake gore. It's fucking weird. It's weird shit. And he's like, what the fuck? You saw the character model? He was begging for his life. Is that Was that what he was doing? Was he just, like, begging for his life? Like, please? Or is he covering his face? Now he's dead, so there's no point. Yeah, it is playing Funky Town right here. This is weird. Some weird fucking shit, people. So right here we have Guerrero flaying again. <laughs> He's reusing the models. He copied and pasted them. What the fuck, man? He's reusing the models. Holy shit. Bang. I don't remember him grabbing up a wood log like that. He's beating him with it like he's a fucking ogre. He's picking him up and then, yeah. I remember that part of the video. Yeah, that's apparently at the old man and that's his... Holy shit. Oh, that's the old man. It's like the dad. Oh, my God. He just squirted. Pause. And then, uh, yeah, it's like the son. He gets kicked in the head. I don't remember most of this fucking video. I don't remember. I remember that um, when I first watched Guerrero Flang, it actually shocked the shit out of me. I didn't watch it for my first time until like a couple months ago. I'm going to be honest. And when I did watch it for my first time, I gasped. I was like, <gasps> because uh, one part that, damn, that boy hit him with a fucking x-ray. Holy shit. Well, actually, a fatality. All right, huge warning. Pay attention to what I'm saying. I know a lot of people watch my YouTube channel for funny hoo-hahs and giggle giggles and shit like that, and you want to avoid watching content that is gruesome. What is about to happen is uh, it's going to be incredibly realistically drawn. I was being sarcastic early in the video, but what you're about to witness is going to be realistically drawn gore. Uh, it's going to be incredibly realistic. And this is a warning right now. Again, if you want to continue watching the video, that's up to you. If you want to click off the video, that's also up to you. But I'm just taking into account and I'm being courteous. And I'm understanding that some of my audience does not want to see this shit. They're just here to watch me describe it. Okay? So here's your chance. And uh, with that being said, if you're sticking around, here it is. Yeah, that's it. That's a wrap. See, what the fuck is this? This is the shit I'm talking about. Adrenaline leak. What the fuck is this shit? Alright, let me pause the video because I'm not saying anything. Uh, I, let me, because I don't want to be an XQC and just sit there and watch the fucking video and not say shit. Um, but you can understand my surprise, hopefully. No fucking way. There is no fucking way I'm looking at what I'm looking at. Listen, people, let me, let me be real. I was coming on here just to show you the Gore Anime channel, just to make a couple of jokes and then peace the fuck out. I've accidentally fell into a fucking rabbit hole, and I'm not going to stop recording. We're, we're going to go through this rabbit hole together. I accidentally fell into this rabbit hole, and we're going to investigate this one together. Recording? What the fuck is this guy's problem? Isn't this this fucking guy, like, sh Shawabi or some shit that blew his head off?
People are making fucking Friday Night Funkins based off of people dying. I... There's literally no fucking... Like, I don't know what the fucking say here. The fact that someone has died and other people have taken time and effort. You know this shit wasn't done in five minutes. This shit was taking takes hours, days. This was a process of animating the entire thing. And then look, what the fuck? I can only imagine how it ends. Uh, cause my camera's blocking it. It ends with the fucking tarp down and crying. Dude, this shit is fucking crazy. Alright, let's see how uh, much deeper we can go into the rabbit hole. No fucking way. I'm gonna have to block the screen. I think this guy... Again, a fucking Friday night Funkin'. What? <laughs> what? What is this? This is fucking absurd. There is a fucking Ronnie McNutt Friday night Funkin'. Who made this shit? Which one's this one? Oh, it looks like we found another one. It's called Justice System. Is that fucking Bud Dwyer? Oh, my, I can't escape Bud Dwyer. I can't escape him. But there's one about Bud Dwyer. I, I, okay, I have no more words. I have no more fucking words. So, I went looking for some firewood. And little did I know I was going to burn down the whole fucking forest. I didn't know that what's going to happen this video. I, again, you saw what I was doing. Let me just tell you the original concept of this video. The original concept was to just show you that really shitty stick figure stuff. Make fun of it. Funny hoo-ha. Watch a couple of the clips. And then we all huckle huckle. And that's the end of the fucking video. I did not know that I was going to on camera. Fall down a fucking rabbit hole. And just keep falling. And then land into incredible art. This is, again, this is a very talented artist. Who's using his talents to draw people who have taken their own life and or have been, you know, killed and then turn it into versus fucking Friday Night Funkin' Kid. And you're going to have a rap battle or a fucking beatbox battle pretty much with a man who who has no face and no hands. And then this guy, what was it, Schwabi? Schwabi, he's a guy who fucking blew his head off. And, like, cause I think it was his mother or somebody walked in on that fucking horrifying scene. And yet, not only that, this guy takes that and turns it into a Friday Night Funkin' battle. Turns it into an extra stage. I remember Friday Night Funkin', it was something about, like, you're beatboxing. You beatbox, like, some fucking purple demon dad or some shit. Then you beatbox some bomb man. It's, you know, pretty tame shit. I didn't know that it stretched this fucking far. Like, I knew there was going to be gore on Roblox. I've seen that before. I've seen gore on, you know, plenty of other games, mods, making the gore even more realistic. So with Roblox, it's meant to explore. It's meant to create. So I can understand, you know, people taking it and going one direction with it. But to me, it's like Finding a Funkin' is so cut and dry. This is what it is, and it's only this. Like, what's going to be next? Fucking beheadings in Guitar Hero? What the fuck? Seriously, this is fucking crazy. Like, oh yeah, guys, now I'm fucking Dance Dance Revolution while this guy gets disemboweled. What's going on? You know? I... That's that, man. That's the end of the fucking video. Like, favorite, share. Most importantly, not forget to comment and subscribe. I might be coming back to this because I'm going to dig deeper. And we're going to really, really look into this motherfucking hole. We're going to stretch this hole out and we're going to gape it. And then we're going to fill it up. I'm going to catch y'all later. <laughs> Check out my Patreon. All that other shit. All down there below in the pinned comment. I'm your boy Cold Raven. I'm going to catch y'all the fuck later. Peace.